All right, guys, Fundorus here, and I just want to talk about why you should be excited for the brand new Pokemon Scarlet and Violet games coming out really soon. There's definitely plenty of reasons to be hyped for the new games. I mean, first of all, it's a brand new generation. A generation of Pokemon only comes every once in a few years, so it's definitely going to be exciting to see some of the new Pokemon. We've seen a lot of new ones leaked. I haven't really seen many. I've seen a few, but I don't really want to upload or post any of the leaks. I kind of want to stay away from that for now. There's already been a good amount of Pokemon officially announced by Nintendo, so that's pretty exciting. So one of the first reasons you should be hyped is because it's a whole new map, a whole new region to explore, and with this open world type of style, there's going to be so much to do and activity all over the map with the Pokemon walking around. You can see if there's a shiny, if there's a new Pokemon, and it's going to really change the way people hunt in future Pokemon games, I believe. I mean, because really, the only Pokemon game we've seen quite like Scarlet and Violet is Legends Arceus, which is totally open world and which was a great game, and uh, graphics aside, it was a great game. So it'll definitely be cool to like explore different areas, find new Pokemon that exist in these caves and snowy regions and mountains and everything. It's definitely really exciting. Something else that's pretty cool is the legendaries in this game because I'm pretty sure you're going to be able to use them. Maybe not have them on your team, but you can like call them in to, you know, you could fly, ride them like a motorcycle or whatever. That's kind of how it was in uh, Legends Arceus. You would call in a specific Pokemon, one to fly, there's like Braviary or whatever to fly. Uh, one to run fast, to swim. I think that's gonna be kind of how it is for this game, but I mean, who knows? The game isn't out yet, and I haven't tried it, and I won't be able to try it until I buy it. So. Another thing that's really cool is how diverse exploring the new map is gonna be, because it's open world, so you can literally go wherever you want. Like, you can literally go wherever you want, whatever direction you want. Of course, still follow, like, the main storyline. There's definitely gonna be a storyline to follow, but when you're not doing the storyline, you can go out and explore. You can do whatever you want. It's really exciting. I think it'll definitely bring a really cool and fun, unique way of playing this Pokemon game and maybe even future ones. You never know. They might implement some of these similar features into future games, or they might just say, this didn't work out. We'll just go back to how the original Pokemon games were. I guess we'll just have to find out. I was just thinking too, it's like, how are evolutions going to work? Like, as in, how are we going to see them evolve? Like, are we going to see them evolve into, like, a dedicated screen that you usually see? Or how the Pokemon are out in the open, like, on the screen right now? Like, are they just going to be able to evolve like that? It'll be pretty cool to see how that works, I guess. And going back to, like, how this is a new generation, with the new generation, we get a new set of three starter Pokemon, which is always really exciting. And I know that these three Pokemon really haven't received, like, the best, I guess, criticisms from it. But overall, they should be pretty cool, and there's been some leaks of what Fue Coco might look like, and it doesn't really look that good if it's if it's a real leak. But Sprigatito's evolution looks really cool, so I'm kind of leaning more towards picking Sprigatito. I still feel like Quaxley's gonna have an insane evolution. I mean, he's not a cool-looking Pokemon, I feel like, but I feel like his evolution is just gonna be crazy. So I guess we'll have to see. So this next thing, I'm not 100% sure if it's real, but this is what I've heard and seen online. I've actually seen this a few times, so it, it probably is real, but, so don't, don't take my word for it, but I'm pretty sure you can actually play the game with the friend, like, online, like, as they are actually on the same map as you, and you're still playing the same game together, if that makes sense, instead of, like, you know, just having to go into, like, a special room to just trade or battle, but, like, you can actually wander and explore the, the map with another friend, which is just so cool, because they actually... They've had some similar stuff to that, but it's never been that great because, you know, Nintendo's online services have never been, like, amazing. But hopefully that changes with this game. Hopefully they bring in a really cool feature that's just so unique and you can just have a really awesome co-op mode with a friend. Another thing that's kind of been rumored is that they're going to skip next year and release no Pokemon games. So this will be pretty much the only Pokemon game for two years. So if they do that, um, they're probably going to bring a DLC like they did with Sword and Shield. They brought a DLC in the next year. It was just a paid DLC, but people actually really enjoyed it. I heard people say that, like, really, really changed the game for them. So, if they do that with uh, Scarlet and Violet, it's probably going to be pretty good and probably going to be well-received. So, that's definitely something to look forward to, because it gives you some extra stuff to do after you already beat the whole, the whole storyline already, which I find really enjoyable. I mean, overall, it's going to be a really fun game, in my opinion. I think the open-world gameplay is going to be really exciting. You know, as long as it has, like, some great music that every Pokemon game already has that's always been just, like, so nostalgic and peaceful and calming and just nice to listen to, it should have that nice music. It should just be a classic Pokemon game. You know, as kids, everyone plays Pokemon. 
and they just had so much fun. It's just it's just a series like no other. So hopefully this game has the same feel as all the old Pokemon games, but just a modern take on it. And exploring a new world, a new region is really exciting. So I think it's something to look forward to. Personally, I'm really excited. The game comes out in, I think, 10 days, I'm pretty sure, from the time I'm recording this video, around there. I'm definitely gonna go pick it up when it comes out, and I'll definitely make some videos about it. Maybe I'll make like a a video of me going to the store and like buying it. Who knows? Those are kind of cool videos to do. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know why you guys are excited for these games to come out. I'm really interested to hear your ideas and thoughts. Maybe I missed something really cool, really important. Yeah, let me know down below. All right, guys, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.